miss the os. May I trade your time for wealth? You look wiser than the average mercenary. Perhaps you're nearly as wise as Athena herself. You speak plainly, Auntie. I speak the truth, Alexios. You know me? Don't pretend to be ignorant of your infamy, Alexios the Eagle Bearer. I have a series of tasks I thought someone of your reputation could handle. But if you feel you're not up to it... What kind of tasks? To begin, I have a test of judgment. Which god is more dangerous, Poseidon or Apollo? The answer lies in a nearby tomb. This is just a riddle. Riddles are telling and rewarding when I give them. Prove your worth to me by going to the graveyard near the sanctuary of Athena and solving it. Fine. I'll figure out this riddle. Find the graveyard near the sanctuary of Athena and tell me who is more dangerous, Apollo or Poseidon. Whoever thought carrying boats across land was a good idea? Ah, Sisyphus. You should have left Thanatos to it. Here lies my father, a simple farmer. A lion tore him to pieces as he brought in his grain. May the gods grant him peace. A golden plate marked with the sun. An offering dedicated to Apollo and his youthful strength. Lions are a golden beast with manes like the sun. Surely they are the favorite of Apollo. Does that make him the more dangerous god? Protect us from teeth that tear and beasts that bite. Sounds like a child's prayer. A model ship as an offering to Poseidon. Clearly someone feared death in the sea. Here lies my brother, a brave man. He was chosen to confront the enemy threatening our village. But his ship sank, and sharks feasted on his flesh. What little parts were found, I sealed in this tomb. Sharks are under the command of Poseidon, as are all creatures of the sea. Is he the more dangerous god? You! I know who you are! Athena sent you to kill me! 
Why would you think that? I was to be tried for murder, but a great fire burned up the courts and all the records. I walked free. But lately I've heard Athena in my dreams saying I would meet justice. And here you are. An old woman hired me to come here. You weren't part of that contract. But lose your temper, and I might change my mind. I know what Athena told me. I'll face my death blade first. Just die! I've seen all there is to see here. Now to answer that woman's riddle. You spent enough time in the graveyard. What did you find? How did you know I actually went? I have my ways. It seems you may have a gift from Mount Olibos. Perhaps. But I want to know which god you think is more dangerous. Poseidon or Apollo? Why are you so interested in knowing? Because I have two tasks that require the attention of Amistios. But I can trust the easier task to nearly anybody. I'm going to assign the more dangerous one to you, naturally. Both those gods may be dangerous. But I met a man who claimed Athena sent me to kill him. How strange. If she could hear your words, I'm sure the Goddess of Justice would be amused. There was a man torn to pieces by sharks on his way to confront pirates. That sounds like the punishment of Poseidon, to those who would insult him. Defending a territory no man can invade with deadly force. Poseidon would indeed seem to be the greater danger. I'm glad you agree. You've wisely considered the subject. I approve. Take this. It's for your judgment. You ask for my judgment, but you seem to be judging me. Am I? Consider this. A man took great risks to take to the sea. Perhaps you could figure out why. His two mentioned pirates. Perhaps there is still a danger. I believe you should find his family in Megaris, south of the ruined temple of Apollo. I'll pay them a visit. I pray to Poseidon that one as mighty as you would come to aid us. I nearly lost hope, but here you are. I was told your village was in danger. Yes. My brother sailed out to take on the soldiers threatening to burn us out. I take a dim view of piracy, you know. But they ambushed his ship and, well, my brother never saw home again. Sharks are merciless. How did you know he was killed by sharks? I visited your brothers too. I'm sorry for your loss. Thanks. That's kind of you to say. So are those soldiers still threatening you? Yes, but I have a plan. I'm going to build a warship. One they won't be able to sink. My village will survive. You seem determined. What do you have left to do? Uh, too much. There's a detachment keeping the pressure on us, not far from here. It's hard to gather building supplies while they're around. So you need supplies, or you need that detachment taken care of? Well, aren't you as clever as Athena herself? What would you be willing to do for us? I'll find the supplies you'll need, and leave the fighting to you. Fair enough. Though I might need you to take up arms against Dryads. I need plenty of olive wood to make sure this ship is solid. I'll get right to it. I think that's all he needs to build this ship. <sighs> this should be all of it. Thank you! Now there's just one last thing we need. An Eye of Protection. For the bow of the ship, you mean? Exactly. There's probably one in the Ariadigni shipwreck. 
At least if Poseidon hasn't claimed it for himself. If it's there, I'll find it. I don't want to be spotted here. Can't handle the waves out there. This I do. Yes, I suppose it will. Is something wrong? I remember this eye staring at me as the ship went down. So many sailors died that day. You know, there's more you can do with a new ship than just piracy. I believe you're right, Mistyos. Perhaps you'll come to show me wisdom after all. Here, take this. It will be the last of our spoils. Thank you. May you find a more peaceful path in the future. I should get back to that strange woman and let her know what happened. Thank you again, Mistyos. Our ship will be a grand one. I met the dead man's brother. Ah. So why did such a man go sailing in shark-filled waters? He was a pirate, and he set out to fight the soldiers who threatened his family. They sank his ship. ...leaving him to the sharks. That's nearly tragic. So how did you resolve the matter? That is what you do as a mystios. Resolve matters, right? I gave the shipbuilding materials to the pirate's brother... ...to help him build a sturdier vessel. I think I set an example for him. He's decided to quit piracy and start a new life. I see. That answer is quite revealing of your character. Why are you concerned about my character? Something will come of it. Very soon, I suspect. But here, take this for now. Thank you. Though it sounds like you have more plans for me. Perhaps. You've proven you could survive the dangers of the ocean. But what about an island of fire and smoke? I'd like to explore this strange island. Good. You're very nearly impressing me. Oh, really? I should be impressed. I would like to send you to an island of smoke and flame, but an associate of mine still has my key to the vault within. Without it, your trip would be in vain. Are they as strange as you? That's nearly amusing. My associate lives in the graveyard you visited for me earlier. 
He lives as a hermit. He'll have time to talk, even to you. I'll go reclaim your key. I knew you'd be back. The owl knows. She's Athena's favorite bird, you know. I'm here for the key to the vault. Then what are you doing here? <laughs> That's nearly ridiculous. So you're telling me it's not here? I left it somewhere safe. It's near an abandoned camp on Egina Island. That doesn't sound very safe. How could it not be safe, surrounded by so many defenders? Why do I never get the easy jobs? Who knows? <laughs> Good luck finding the key. Found the key. Time to return to that strange woman. I found your key. Your associate certainly kept it well protected. He ought to have. I paid him well enough to do so. Where exactly are you getting your drachmi from? I have very few needs and spend only on what I find important. I'm very nearly thrifty. Now that I have the key, is there anything else I need to prepare to visit the Island of Fire? You tell me, Mistios. Do you feel prepared to explore the foundry of Ephestos? Wait, you're not going to ask me a strange question first? Perhaps I'll think of one later. I'm ready to explore that island. Very good. You are proving your worth. Am I now? 
I'm impressed. There is an island swathed with clouds of smoke where the earth blazes with fire. It's called the Foundry of Ephistos. A legendary helmet is kept there. Bring it here so I might study it. Seems like a dangerous journey for just a helmet. It's not nearly the only treasure there. You can keep anything else you find. All right. I'll go to the island and find the helmet. Visit the Island of Fire, and bring me back the helmet you'll find there. Gorgophony was an extraordinary woman born of Andromeda, daughter of the proud queen and king of Ethiopia, and Perseus, the Gorgon Slayer after whom she is named. It has long been tradition that women should marry but once, as virgins. If their husbands died before them, they were to live out their lives as widows. Gorofoni defied this tradition to become the greatest grandmother of Elas.
Gorgophony's first husband was Pirieres, king of Messina and Sparta. Their sons grew up to be bold princes and kings of Sparta themselves. This helmet seems common, but it's been carefully hidden. I should get it back to that woman. That burning island and trapped tomb, you could say they were nearly a challenge. Even for you. You exaggerate, Eagle Bearer. But did you find the helmet? Of course I did. But how could you have known about such a terrible place? And who are you to send me there? Who do you think I am, Alexios? Some say I show great wisdom. Others say I am Wisdom herself. Tell me, who do you think I am? You sent me to a graveyard, where I met a desperate man who said Athena herself had sent me to kill him. But I suppose that could mean he only thought you were Athena. It's unwise to give too much credit to the rantings of a madman. Then you sent me to a pirate in need, who asked me to help him as he saw fit. Was that a divine test of wisdom? Or just practicality? You sent yourself to a pirate. I merely provided the chance. Finally, that strange hermit with the key. He was even under a statue of Athena's icon, the owl. Did you set that all up as a joke, or is there truth in his beliefs? So many thoughts in that head of yours. It's nearly too much to contemplate. Make your decision, Alexios. As grandson of Leonidas, bearer of the bloodline, I must recognize you as Athena. This helmet you have asked me to return bears your own blessing. If this is true, I should accept your recognizance. But for now, let me see that helmet. I hope this was worth it. You aren't very principled, are you? One who stands for nothing falls for everything. I've seen all I need to. Here you go. Thank you. I hope you've gained some wisdom from this journey. Yes, I've learned that profit can come from the strangest sources. <laughs> 